All right. Um, so here we are, the end of the uh, momentum hour for Tuesday, June 14th. We are gaining abundance for our day through our um, early start momentum. And mindset has been on, on our minds. <laughs> and um, so I'm just curious, like, when you guys think of mindset, what does that mean to you? Like an anchor. Mm. When I set my mindset for the day, it's an anchor. So that when I'm struggling through the day, it's a, a, a point that when I'm going through moments that are not in alignment with me and I'm feeling anger and frustration, I can really close my eyes and focus and remember why I'm doing what I'm doing and why the things that are frustrate me and anger me are not in alignment with me. I need to just let go. Mm. Yeah. Anybody else? I kind of think of it as a zone. Like I want to stay in the zone that I'm setting my intention for. And then similar to the anchor, as I fall in and out of it, are things are impacting it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Good stuff. Nicole, anything you want to add? Okay. <laughs> so it, I was just thinking about that's that's really common when we talk about mindset that we often jump to um, like we want to choose our mindset, right? And no, and and we hear that it's a choice, and we we know like we know that that's true. It's like we've experienced it, right? We've been able to choose our mindset, and here's the challenge with mindset is that <clears throat> our mindset is always there right because our mindset is actually our it's our deeply ingrained assumptions and beliefs that influence the way we understand our world and so we have these deeply ingrained assumptions and beliefs all the time and they impact how we understand and act in the world so when we talk about shifting our mindset, right? Like I'm getting in the right mindset for the day, right? Intending to change or be very conscious at least of what our default thoughts and patterns are, what our deeply ingrained assumptions are and pull them out and try to and so it's really kind of a, it's it's um this is why it's not easy right I, I guess is where I'm going is sometimes we think well just shift your mindset right and we can fake it sometimes but a lot of times we're, we're fighting this battle of this these entrenched beliefs they're they're like rutted it's like rutted in our brain and so we naturally instinctively go to um, I know my mind is not in a good place. I want to change it to a better place, but you're fighting this like rut in your brain. And so you have to create a new path for it. And so JL, like, and, and Tammy and I were talking about this at the top of the hour, right? Like, how do you stay calm when everything's coming at you? And so JL, I'm just curious when you say like getting your mindset, I know you have some practices. You do to help choose your the change of your assumptions or beliefs that you've experienced in the past. Anything yeah. come to mind for you? Well, I mean, even this weekend being the newbie, you know, you, you can't get caught up in the chitter chatter and those things. Like I had to stay strong that I knew who I was. I knew that I was there for a reason. I, I know what I have to bring to the table is good. So I have reminders. Um, I actually took them with me to the hotel. One was the sign from um, Susan Beck that keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have certain jewelry that is really sentimental, like my class ring, because it's my parents' birthstone. So I, I, like if I know that I'm having a hard day, I'll wear that. Cause it reminds me like, that's where I came from. They created me, they embedded good habits and good, you know, good practices and good ethics. So like that's with me or 
I just have certain music that I listen to. And my partner at work, my new um, assistant, she can always tell when I'm shifting because I'll be like, okay, get up, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? And I'm like, no, we need to, we need to move. We need to get up out of the office and come back. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, I, I'm someone that physically has to move to break a habit, to yeah. change my mindset. Yeah. And that it's, was one of the most challenging things, getting ready to go on stage because mm -hmm. we had like a, I'd say a five to six, mm, no, like more like a foot and a half area to stand in, even with our gowns that were huge. So, you know, I'm squirming around back there trying not to like let people from the audience see, but I know, and they're like, you have to sit still. And I'm like, no, I don't have to. <laughs> Yeah. Like I knew that like going on the stage, I needed to shift like right beforehand and own it. So just making sure that you have those practices and with that relationship with anxiety and depression, which I'm currently like in a funk. So I know I need to adjust my mindset more than once a day. Yeah. 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 I love that. And, and that's kind of what we were talking about earlier too. It's like changing the way we do it. So, mm -hmm. because what we know is, you know, we can create new habits that aren't always necessarily serving us either. And so when we shift how we do it, we're, we're, um, our brains are consciously in the space again. And so that if, if we always turn to the same thing, that now becomes our new routine. And if we haven't actually managed it effectively, the new routine doesn't even actually help us. So that's why breathing is so important too. When you actually do get in your breathing, it's not just take a couple of deep breaths because it's really like feeling in your body the shift. Because if you don't intentionally do that, you're actually creating a new habit that's just helping you go, okay, got it, I'm gonna move on, right? And it's not actually necessarily changing your belief up here. So love it. This is really good stuff. It's eight o'clock. So I've made um, Brenda the host. I've got to um, hop onto a client call. Um, have an amazing day. Tammy, if you're not doing anything tonight, cross plates chamber from five to seven at the farmhouse. Stop by. Lemonade and cookies. <laughs> what is your top gun? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, you guys. Love I gotta you all. Go. all right. Bye. Hello, good morning, everyone. If you're hanging out with us this morning, oh, hey, Brenda. looks like I got to stop the recording there. How do I do that here? There we go. Mm -hmm.